Okay, so today we're going to have a look at stencils in uh, Substance Painter. I don't think I've covered these before, so this will be fun. Uh, so I've just imported a, a, a basically a flat plane. It's one polygon, uh, and we're going to use this as an example. Okay, so if I just create a paint layer here, and then look at the paint settings, under here we have a stencil. So if I apply a texture to this stencil, uh, let's say this black and white spots. There we go. Um, we get a stencil. And we can manipulate this with the S key. So if you press and hold S and then move your right mouse uh, or click the right mouse button and then move it up and down, left and right. Well, it's up and down mostly. Um, or if you click the S button and use your, sorry, the S key and use your left mouse button, you can rotate it round. And we have some uh, options on there. Oops, sorry, I think I managed to undo my layer. There we go, it's back in again. Um, so we have some options down here. So we can turn tiling on and off. So we can have horizontal or vertical or both. And basically, wherever you paint on this, um, it's going to use the texture to obscure some of it, use the stencil. Uh, so white it will let through and black it won't. Let me just change this brush out for, uh, sorry, not the brush, the material out for something that we can actually see. Uh, well, let's pick this plastic grid. Just make my mouse a little bigger and paint over that. And as you can see, now I'm getting a, you know, a masked version of that. It's not painting completely clear. If I turn this, take the stencil out, you'll see the difference there. So that's the absolute basics of it. Um, but, you know, we can do more with it. You know, we can combine it with some other things to, you know, to get some really cool effects. Uh, so in the next section, we'll have a look at that. So I'll talk to you then. Let's uh, clear this layer out, and we can, of course, use this as a as a mask. So, if I create a material layer, come on, material layer, uh, we'll add in. Uh, I don't know, perhaps this iron. Yeah. So we can use this as a mask. So, if I right-click this and add a black mask, and then add a paint layer. Where's the paint layer gone? Oh, it's down here. I can now paint on this paint layer with a brush with a stencil. So I can go to the stencil area. Let's pick out a um, something to use. Uh, have we got strips? No. Drip. There we go. We've got a grunge there. So if I drag and drop that onto the stencil. I can use my S key to straighten that up. If I press shift, it will snap. Yeah, so that's handy. And now I can paint on top of that. Now I have a feeling, no, I haven't. There we go. So if I paint on that then, then it's only gonna come in, you know, where my stencil is, which is quite handy for painting things. Um, probably a better thing to do on this was to have a layer below it. Uh, so let's, Pop that layer below. Let's take that filter out and let's have some rust just for fun. There we go. So it kind of inverted. I'll probably put the uh, <laughs> put the uh, you know put these the other way around with the mask on the rust. But there you go. So that's another thing you can do. Um, other things then so let's clear this out let's do that so if I add a paint layer back in I can combine um, you know my alpha into the uh, into the deal so in my textures I should have something I prepared earlier of course I'm not going to be able to see it because that would be too easy let's find it it's here somewhere I wonder if I called it. No, I really didn't. Okay, let's just import it back in again. So I've got this black and white image, you know, made in, um, you know, a 2D painting package. 
Um, so white is what will show through, black is what will obscure. If I drop that into there and set that as a texture, and uh, I also want it to be an alpha, so let's go import. So that's my texture, and then I'll re import it as an alpha as well. Let's pop that in there. Let's have it as an alpha just to the current session. There we go. So there's my alpha. So I can click on that and it will become my alpha. It's lovely. So that's how it works, you know, if I don't use the um, the stencil. But of course I can now, let's clear that filter, come in and find a suitable stencil that will work with it. Uh, let's try cells. Let's see how fun that is. There we go. So I'm going to press S and the right mouse to make those much, much smaller. And I'll stamp that down. And then, whoops, turn the stencil off so I can see it. And there we get it. So we've combined our alpha with our stencil to get, you know, some sort of effect. It's not the most fun effect, of course, because it's a terrible material for that. Let's try a different material. Uh, let's just use brass. I'll be able to find it now. Well, any of these basically will work. Um, let's try this fractal sum. Let's try this one here. And then if I stamp that down, just turn off my stencil for a moment, you can see that I've got a nice speckled look rather than just a hard edged um you know alpha stamp okay so um you're not limited to just you know this kind of uh, material with this we can use a dynamic material so let's type in dynamic and go and find what i'm looking for uh it's here somewhere it's under the brushes yes it is so we have this gradient color spray or this uh color spray here i'm going to use this one so we'll pop our stencil on let's uh, take that out there we go uh well, what should we have oh well i want the uh i want the text so i want the text to be my stencil i don't want the alpha to be there so let's just press s and use the right mouse to make that bigger and now i can paint over that and i get a nice kind of you know, drawn effect if you like. Let's turn that off so we can have a look at it. And there you go. So uh, that's a little bit you can do with stencils, of course. You know, there are many other things, but I just wanted you to, you know, uh, be aware of their existence and, you know, to be able to you know, use them in uh, a few different ways. Uh, so that's that, and I will talk to you in another video.